Hey guys, and welcome to Overland and Z. We're at the end of 2020, the longest year ever. Times it felt like we're never gonna get here, but here we are. It's now late December, and we're just about heading to the Christmas break. Ah, what a year though. I don't even think there's a word to describe it. It's been pretty cool, despite some of the challenges, especially, you know, I've been stuck at home for a couple of months and having to leave the truck in Christchurch. We've had an amazing, amazing year here at Overland and Z. It's just been incredible what we've been able to achieve and the support from you guys has just been unbelievable like doing this wouldn't be possible without you guys thanks heaps i really really mean that and from all of us here at overland and Z, we really appreciate it and thank you hugely for your support thanks to our patrons for help making this possible learn more in the description below so looking back, 2020, what did we get up to? We kicked off the year with the 42 Traverse. That was epic, absolutely epic. We took all the trucks, all the people, we had the camera crew, it was cool. day out and it was just a fun trip all round. We then out, went out and did the Southern Wire Wrapper, so we went from Ocean Beach all the way around to Cape Palliser and then out to Stonewall, up to the desert and I love that place. Like that's probably probably my favourite episode we did. I don't know why, it's just, I just loved that area and that whole trip was just great fun and it's cool to hang out with everybody again and you know th these trips take a lot of work and trying to get everybody timed up. Yeah, it's hard work and it's always cool when it all comes together and just plans out like that trip. I then set off down south. March. We all know what happened in March. That was cool though. Um, went down there, obviously started South Island solo. The goal with that was to spend, I think, a two weeks and was planning on basically working my way all the way south, you know, spending as little time as possible on the highway. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but that's life. You know, and having to leave the truck in Christchurch and fly home was pretty hard, but it was, you know, pretty amazing that I could get home and be with my family and stuff versus, you know, stuck down in Christchurch through what was a pretty, pretty difficult time for everybody. So mid-June, I think it was, we jumped on a plane and we went south. Got into Christchurch, it was about two degrees, it was bloody cold, but beautiful. And we spent, oh, what did we do? We had about 48 hours in Christchurch just to get the truck back up and running, get ourselves set up, go and grab different things from the shops that we needed. And then we hit the road. Obviously it was slightly less solo, Chloe was with me this time and we had an absolute blast heading through like Skipper's Canyon, Mace Town, where else did we go? There's a whole bunch of places down there, skip my memory. But yeah, it was cool. The South Island in winter is a completely different experience. Getting to drive in actual snow was awesome. Turning. So take me on. 
what did we do then? Obviously it was middle of winter. So me and Scotty headed out just for a few short trips overnight just to test out the new setup that he had running on his surf. And then we headed up to East Cape. And that was an epic trip. A couple of days around the Cape, visiting a whole bunch of sites and stuff like that. It was cool. Highly recommend that you get up there if you can. It's a bloody sweet place. And then we went up to Taranaki, as you guys probably seen, and that was a cool little trip, it's just me. I had four days, three days, four days, up there. Got myself in a bit of bother, that's all good. It was cool to go up to those areas and enjoy some summertime. It's a highlight of 2020 for me, Skipper's Canyon. It was so cool. Driving out on that bridge is something I've been wanting to do for years, and finally did it blew my mind and the history and the beauty of that area is incredible I, I can't wait to go back there and maybe do it in summer so there's a few more trees around and stuff You know, low light of the year was probably standing on, where was I? Standing on a hill somewhere down south and watching the announcement go through that we had 48 hours to get home before the country entered full on lockdown. It was pretty gutting, I'd already decided to turn around by that point. I had rebooked my ferry for the Saturday, which you know, was never gonna happen. It sucked, there's no other word for it, but that's life. Things happen and what can you do? Obviously the Hilux has had a few new mods this year. Started off with a bull bar and winch installed by the guys at Kaizen Works. I haven't got to put it to use quite as much as I was hoping given that I didn't manage to get to all the areas that I wanted to in the South Island where there's more reason to have it. We got a new set of wheels and tyres just the other week. Truck looks mint. We got the new Rhino Rack tray. That thing is cool, it's way quieter. Got the spade mount. Got a set of Max tracks. Those things are awesome. I think that was about it, like, you know, truck's looking cool, it's working well. So yeah, 2020 has been a bloody cool year. I've had a great time. I know it's been real difficult for a lot of people and us included, you know. What's happened this year is not normal. And it, if you're feeling burnt out and tired, that is more than fair enough, I am. This, this year has just sapped the energy out of me. But that's all good, we're at the end now. Things are going well in the country and you know, we can get out there and we can explore the summer. We're super fortunate to be able to do that. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, thank you to everybody who supported us this year. Everybody who has watched a video, liked a photo, commented on something, bought a hoodie or a t-shirt, some stickers. It means the world to us and we really, really appreciate it. Yeah, as I said before, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, have an absolute blast, whatever you get up to. See you guys next year. Catch you later.